your dietary restrictions by choice like I do, then I'm about to put y'all onto something very exciting that I discovered during quarantine. So you know that the girls and I were always going to Trader Joe's whenever we would cross the border to thrift, which was kind of turning into like a monthly occurrence. <sighs> now we're here. During quarantine, I was like looking for ways to order groceries and stuff online because I wasn't feeling super comfortable going into stores where everyone is and all that kind of stuff. And I came across this store called Natura Market. It's literally a dream for people that eat like gluten-free, dairy-free, or you're just like really on that health kick. Trying to try out all the new like kind of trendy, I don't want to say trendy because like hopefully these things are like more going to be what we're consuming in the future anyways food products. So I'm going to show you guys what they got. I'm hungry too. So this is like, could be really bad, could turn into a taste test, but oh yeah. And just to put it out there, I do eat gluten free and dairy free. Not everything on their site is gluten and dairy free, but a lot of it is. So it makes it really easy. Vegan Rob's Vegan Pop. This is the turmeric and black pepper flavor. So it's like popcorn. It had really good ratings this flavor. And I've tried stuff from this brand before. It's really good. I'm not like in the mood for that though. This, this shocked me. It is Hearts of Palm Spaghetti, and Daniel and I love Hearts of Palm, we're so weird, like, I remember early days dating, this is how I knew he was the one, because we would literally just crack open a can of Hearts of Palm together and have a good time in the kitchen, so, it's kind of weird, but we, it was a good snack. These really intrigued me, because obviously it's like a low carb, low calorie form of spaghetti, and like, they're literally making spaghetti out of everything these days, and this just is on a whole other level, so I'll have to keep you guys in the loop with that. Seems like a small portion though, so I probably should have gotten two, but also I was like, eh, this is good. They threw in these CFA grain-free chips for free, which was really cool. This brand I've heard about on YouTube by, from American YouTubers a lot. It's called Right Rice, and essentially it's rice made from vegetables. So again, you're not getting all the heavy carbs and starches and stuff like that, which I think is really nice to add as a substitute to like a protein or veggies and all that. So gluten-free, non-GMO. I got the cilantro lime and garlic herb. Again, just kind of went with the flavors of things that had the best ratings, because sometimes with vegan things and flavors can really go south. This brand from the ground up is so good. Chris Clemens heavily endorses this brand by choice. And honestly, I would too, because the cauliflower stuff is so good, but honestly, cauliflower can like really disrupt the stomach, if you know what I mean. So we went with butternut squash. I think I've tried these before. They're just like pretzels, so they're gluten-free, but they have like a nice, flavor to them if I'm thinking of the right thing. All right, another thing I've heard a lot of American YouTubers talk about is the Bonza brand. This is also harder to find in grocery stores here. I think some of them have it, like Summerhill Market or something like that, but like our Whole Foods and stuff, they don't carry these types of brands. So I got the plant-based mac and cheese with chickpea pasta. So it's vegan, gluten-free. I tried some vegan, gluten-free mac and cheese box mixes and they were pretty trash. They just kind of tasted like squash, like a butternut squash soup on chickpea pasta, which really doesn't sound that appealing. I'm hoping that one's better. It's a pretty reputable brand. All right, I got organic, grain-free. That was, my sister and I did a combined order. So one of these is for her. Again, really good ratings. Sometimes I just feel like having cereal. Daniel's been filming a lot of cereal videos recently, and it's unfortunate because the cereal that he's been using has gluten and dairy in it, so, Literally can't have any of it, and it made me really crave cereal, so. Honestly, the box kind of looks similar. Like, guys, we literally have so much cereal in this house. Cereal here. There's more. There's more, let me tell you. It, like, disappeared all of a sudden. All right, I guess this will be our first snack test of the day. Do we have almond milk? Uh, oat milk. Well, Daniel gets the milk. I will continue. So. This is another common brand, Simple Mills. I think they do actually sell this one at Whole Foods. But I got their almond flour baking mix. It's pumpkin muffin bread. Muffins or bread. Which I thought sounded really, really intriguing because I keep trying to make these like vegan gluten-free pumpkin breads and they turn out like trash. So we went with the mix. Cassava pasta. I don't think I've seen this brand at the grocery store either. And cassava is like a really big substitute right now for like chips, tortilla, wheat, all that kind of stuff. So again, it's just intriguing me and some really, really good reviews. I got some soft baked almond flour bars, chunky peanut butter by the same brand because these are just good to have on hand. Oh, these chocolate bars are, oh, we do have almond milk? These chocolate bars have a good weight to them, but these are the cutest chocolate bar packages I've ever seen in my entire life. They are Christmas themed, so that gives them bonus points. But I got candy cane for myself and my sister got the gingerbread. 
smells like almonds. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Maybe just pour a little in your mouth and try it. Wow, these are beautiful. Together we'll make chocolate 100% slave free. That's great. All right, cereal. Cereal goes in the bowl first. Anyone who says otherwise is a psychopath. Sure, look at my subscribers psychopath. Ooh, these look good. Whoa. Oh, it smells good. Really good duo. Thank you. Oh, this smells really good. And a good ratio of milk to cereal. Very crunchy. You have to give it a minute in the milk to kind of soften up, probably. How is it? It's good. It smells like very fibery. You know what I mean? Oh, it's cassava as well. Yeah, it's actually better than you made me think it was based on your reaction. My sister got this oat creamer chai spice and then probably the main reason we ordered was to secure the holiday flavored nut pods Ta -da! so we have cinnamon pumpkin spice and i believe peppermint mocha so these are all vegan gluten-free again and great for making little lattes at home you guys know i have my little coffee bar cart i do need to get my milk frother over here but watch this raisins put raisins in the cereal. I bet that'll be good. That's some wild shit. Oh. Mm-hmm. Try that with the raisins now. Oh, that's not bomb. That actually smells really good. Oh, good. Nice work. Daniel, which drink should I make? What? What kind of latte should I make? Cinnamon, swirl, peppermint, mocha, or pumpkin spice? I feel like it's obvious. What, pumpkin spice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess we should go with that. For those of you wondering, I had to put my espresso on the floor because some reason this wasn't supporting it and like the water tank wasn't connected properly and it wasn't making coffee so put it on the ground works like a dream Tastes like watery, kind of bitter, dark hot chocolate with a little bit of pumpkin. Mmm. Snickers. Sick. So the logo glows. Oh, they're champion. Ah. Nice. That is a nice hoodie. Yeah, the logo is uh, glow in the dark. We'll have to test that out later. I like it. Oh, so comfy. Nice. What an exciting day of packages. I feel like that's all vlogs are these days, or like people showing and telling. So while I have you here, I thought I'd share with you guys the new candles I got in, because I recently, oh, is that the vacuum charger? Oh my God, we are like the most unorganized people in the entire world. Anyways, I had mentioned these candles from Indigo in a previous vlog, and I burnt through the pumpkin spice, whatever, you know, your classic fall bitch kind of stuff. And I saw they were on sale again and I had friends over and they were like, oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. And I was like, it's the indigo candles, guys. So I picked up the malt cider and cinnamon and they're so like literally playing with fire here. Um, okay. This is the spiced vanilla and cashmere. Kind of reminds me of, there's a Bath and Body Works handle, but this one's a lot nicer. I got a third because I was like, why not? I think I had to qualify for free shipping or something. And this is Snowy Pine and Balsam Fur. So I'm gonna save this one for Christmas time. I like totally forgot guys that I get to decorate a house for Christmas this year. Like this is groundbreaking. For those of you that don't know, I am such a Christmas person. Like it just, 
the best time of the year in my opinion. So this one is staying in the box until that time. So this has turned into a food unboxing. Oh, it's a drink. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Is it alcohol? Oh, it's so cute. I've definitely seen it before. Oh my gosh. Your name is Ollie, and this is an Ollie Cobb. Oh my gosh, we should mega camping. <laughs> this house is mayhem. Ollie Cobb, do you like it? This is your cup. cookie in my entire life just kind of rolling with the punches you guys i dropped my camera the other day i felt like a piece of crap because of it because daniel got that for me for my birthday and i just feel really bad when i do something wrong i'm so dumb like i was just in a really bad mindset and i was jittery and i just literally flew it like flew off my camera my table it helped me out with a lot of vlogs so there's that, and I've got this phone, which is honestly pretty decent quality for the meantime, and I also have like three other cameras, they're just not as compact. Milky's was amazing, Almond Butterfly was amazing, just thought I'd let you guys know if you're also looking for some cute spots in Toronto. And then I also want to show you this tank top that my friend Annie dropped off yesterday because it's by the Foundationals, they actually sent me some tank tops and a cute little set a few months ago a few months ago and i love them they're all sustainably made they're based out of la they're really small and they just relaunched their tanks in a bunch of different colors they're slightly different material and fit than before but honestly i like them just the same i had to go with this green one because i don't have any green tank tops and i already have like a bunch of white ones and black ones so i thought green would be really nice for the fall and just like with light denim like this oh and maybe i'll show you actually while we are doing show and tell remember show and tell in school that was a great time i also purchased this voting t-shirt even though i'm canadian please don't come for me you should definitely be voting if you live in the states hopefully this vlog comes out before the election but i just like their voting t-shirt because it is sustainable all their packaging was sustainable i think i heard about them through devin carlson and jesse because they post about their lip balms a lot oh yeah the brand is Ralphie and Alice just like such cool graphics and stuff so I felt like supporting I can't remember obviously I look into where the money is going when I purchase these things that are charitable I'll have it up here I can't remember off by heart because I ordered this a few weeks ago but let's try out the lip balm because apparently this is Jesse and Devin's favorite lip balm they're called the lipsticks 100% organic vegan balm let's try it Daniel just started like using lip balm because he's been having really dry lips and he had that realization that a lot of lip balms just make your lips more dry and I was like yeah you got to find the lip balm that's right for you and that just sounded like such a powerful statement but it literally is so true and guys this feels amazing and I'm a picky lip balm person and they're a good company wow I just love finding good companies these days for you guys honestly I think that we're home now a lot more and we have the time and ability to like research companies. It's a lot more powerful and it feels a lot better when I'm supporting things that are amazing and are doing amazing things for the people that work there and the world. So if I got enough footage, this is gonna be the end of this vlog. It wasn't really a weekly vlog, but I've just been enjoying vlogging, picking up the camera recently and checking in with you guys. So. Make sure you are subscribed for more of these. Stay tuned for fun outfit videos, thrifting videos, all that kind of stuff, and follow me on Instagram in the meantime. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see y'all soon. Hope you are all doing well.